Okay, so uh, sitting here trying to make a battery pack. This is for, I'm trying not to make, I'm trying to improve a battery pack. This is for a DeWalt 20 volt. This right here is still good. So what I'm doing is I'm adding cells. And I figured the best way to space the cells, the correct width, was to put them in here. So what I did is I just welded on little tabs to begin with. And then I'm going to, I guess, lean them all out. Still winging this, trying to figure this out. Because, man, there is no space in these DeWalt, or at least in any of these packs. They are just, cells are packed in here tight. Um, and I did realize I put this cell and this cell in backwards. So I was going through checking my plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. And I was like, oh, darn it. So I had to flip-flop these around to make sure they're right. Um, and then I'm going to double check again to make sure that these cells are all working out with the correct uh, polarity as these because it just takes one little quick stupid mistake to make it go boom. So now I'm going to double check all the polarities, make sure they're all good, and then I'm going to take this guy, set it down, weld it, and then somehow pull this guy out of there um, because I need to 3D print the spacer because this guy's going to have an air gap in it now. I've already done this before for I did a double stack uh, or I did a triple stack I can't remember but I uh, put in extra cells and stacked it up and then I put in a spacer so I've already got that catted up I just need to shrink it down to the correct height now so let's do the check-ins so here's my first boo-boo not really enough nickel going across there I'm gonna have to rotate this cell a little bit clockwise and make sure I got the cells sitting on top of each other perfectly. So let me do that and then double check again. So here's the finished product. And yeah, I did need to add another, uh, I did need to weld on another piece of nickel to this because it was too short. Um, and what I also printed out were a couple of these spacers right here just to act as dummy alignment pins to align the upper and lower housings together so that they would act as a jig to help me uh, assemble all of it together. Um, and one of the things I did for another guy is this is a 1P edition. I did a 2P edition and he said he could weed eat and blow his yard, I believe two times with a single pack. So the amount of energy that's in these is quite amazing. Uh, you know, people complain about the batteries not being energy dense enough. And yeah, compared to gasoline, gasoline's an amazing tool or an amazing fuel uh, at 33 kilowatt hours per gallon. Um, for batteries, it probably takes about 170 pounds of batteries to equal the energy in one uh, gallon of gasoline. And a gallon of gasoline is about 6.8 gallons. So yeah, compared to a gallon of gasoline, they're not very energy dense. But compared to what we need, they're, they're really pretty amazing. Uh, it, it, it really is how, how much energy is in this and I have these packs right here well this is actually this pack right here is actually a pack I bought this pack right here is a pack I made I did the exact same thing I added on cells right here uh, just another set of cells uh, Tesla cells and I, I, I don't charge these very often and they just do so much work for me uh, the drills that I use, um, I actually used a my drill to um, remove a stump, and I just used a, a self-feeding auger bit, and uh, it was like an inch auger bit, and it was just self-feeding in the drill, and it was able to do all that on less than one charge because it was at like half charge when I started, and then it was at zero charge when I finished, so half a charge to just auger out a ton of dirt. So, yeah, and then this one, just the same thing again, you know. Adding adding another set of cells just you know makes a pack so much better.